originally from South Africa and currently living in the Cayman Islands. It was a long swim, but at least the water is nice and warm. From Cape Town, South Africa! From uh, Nova Scotia in Canada! Scotland! Okay, this is, uh, this is Rudolf Nile. He's from a place called Nigel. That is like the roughest, roughest place in the whole of... The, all of uh, actually, I was born in the Norte, buddy. The Norte. It even gets worse. There's actually a worse place than Nigel, and it's called? The Norte. The Norte. I mean... It's like a language in itself, you know. You get Afrikaans and then... Uh, the the there's these Buddha uh, over here. This is the valley where Lurt Diago comes from, my man. Uh, this is Lurt, Lurt Diago's cousin. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm the short one. <laughs> yeah. It's like twins, but he's like, you know. <laughs> oh, it, it's been fantastic. Uh, we had a chance to, to go to the little town of Rugby where it all started. Uh, loved it over there. The fan parks are fantastic. The vibe outside of the stadium is wonderful and I've really had a fantastic time. The bagpipe was and this the uh, friendship between all peoples of all kinds. No. You think this is English weather, Paul? This is just not English weather yet. This is, this, this is Natal December month weather. Humid. Warm still, eh? Not cold. No, this is not cold. And let's hope it doesn't get cold, because uh, you know what I mean? We can play on the high field, but further down south, I'm not sure. Oh, this is warm beer weather. Warm beer weather. Warm beer, yeah. warm beer weather. <laughs> yeah, if I need to pick a player of the tournament so far, I think uh, Lourdes will be one of the players that I will consider. He's having an awesome tournament and uh, he's a great player. No doubt, I think Lourdes Yaha has, has improved in leaps and bounds, not only um, since coming back from injury earlier this year, but um, you know, in every test, you know, you, you look at the way he plays. He, he plays as if he's a he's a seasoned veteran. Uh, meanwhile, he's uh, still a young man stepping in the shoes or in the boots of a of a you know a legend of the game in Victor Matfield, and he, he plays as if you know he's got the ears of Victor Matfield and and the caps of Victor Matfield behind him. I think he's going to become a, a crucial member of this team if they go on, you know, to do great things in this in this tournament. And uh, Heineke may will look back. And the decision to, to take him uh, to the World Cup as probably his, his master stroke. Yeah, I'm actually a little um, yeah, it's disappointing because we actually like English rugby players. We like the, the English rugby culture, you know what I mean? They're far better than that <laughs> off that bloody football stuff that they get, you yeah, know what I mean? All the pommies are not, and every pommie's got now a Welsh grandparent. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a rude awakening for English rugby and uh, what they need to do going forward. Um, in order for the game of rugby to stay relevant in the country where it has started. Oh, it's a sad day for the tournament, I think, but uh, but I didn't play well enough uh, against the Wallabies, and uh, I think the Wallabies deserve to win that one. Oh, Baka! Wish you were here! They oh, are Baka. definitely missing out! You should be here! Spend the money and come and support! Baka! Baka. <laughs> this is the <a> yes. <laughs> Baka!